Hey everybody, it's Al Sergal, and I wanted to give you an update on the adoption. I wish I could just sit down and write something on the blog, but my life has been so crazy and so busy since the beginning of this year. Uh, as most of you might, you probably haven't realized it, but I haven't written on the blog since the end of December, so I just thought it would be simpler to do a video blog and update you on what's gone on uh, since the beginning of March. It has been crazy. Most of you know if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or any of the stuff that's on social media that we have been picked by a birth mother in Central Florida to be the parents and adopt her baby boy which uh, the baby boy will be born July 6th and so we are beyond excited. Uh, the house is buzzing like crazy and there's stacks of paperwork with the stuff we've got to fill out for the attorney that we have. Um, so rather than do uh, try and write all this down, I thought I'd just do a quick video blog and just kind of tell you what's happened from the beginning of March to at least this point. Um, first and foremost, um, I'm going to send an email out. Many of you are probably watching this video because I sent an email to you um, asking for your support. Not only your support and prayer, but also if you're able to give us a tax-deductible donation towards this. We have a lot of friends, both in the United States, Canada, Mexico, all over the world, that um, are supporters of life, that believe in adoption. Um, and so we're asking for you to spread the word. Um, if you're not able to help us financially, then pray for us. And if you know of people that have adopted or know of people that really, like I said, are believe in life and just have a real heart for adoption, pass this video along to them. Pass on our website. The website is sergaladoption.com sergaladoption.com and that has our story it's just kind of a brief write up on our story and then it also has a place where people can donate many of you have already given us a tax deductible gift and that's it's blown our mind at this point we have nine thousand dollars we've raised and that's actually going to cover the attorney fees which is wonderful and uh, at this point we have probably um that much more to go so we're needing to raise around eighteen thousand dollars total so, uh, again, share the video, um, tweet this thing, Facebook it, Instagram, whatever. Um, let people know what we're doing. Uh, that's been the best part about partnering with Adopt Together. It's not necessarily that we can raise finances um, or that it can be tax deductible for friends and family. And uh, But the biggest thing was we just felt like we weren't spreading the word. We didn't let people know for almost 18 months. We were working with an agency and we just sort of... We trusted God, uh, which was fine, but we weren't really spreading the word and letting people know, like, hey, we want to adopt. And uh, by working with Adopt Together, it, it just, we had to go public. We started letting people know. So it's just kind of funny. I got up um, crazy early on March 9th, Saturday morning, and I just knew I wasn't supposed to go back to bed. I, I realized I'd woken up for some reason. You know, I don't, I wish I knew why, but... Now I do. Uh, I woke up that morning and I go on Facebook and I realized I'd missed the anniversary of some really good friends of mine up in Winston-Salem. And so I texted them real quick and said, hey, happy anniversary. And to my surprise, I got a text back from the wife of the couple. And she said, uh, hey, my cousin who lives in Central Florida just met a mom whose 23-year-old daughter is pregnant with a baby boy. She's going to have a baby boy. Do you want to talk to this mom? And uh, do you want to talk to this family? And I was like, yes. So without going into too many details, um, all of this, we've been connected with this family since the beginning of March, sort of here and there. Um, we've known about this birth mother. And last week, uh, we, we found out on April 4th um, that she was having a baby boy. And then uh, on... On Friday, I uh, we got a, an email late that night Friday. We knew that she was working with a local agency and that she was kind of uh, potentially going to go with another family and that we were one of two families that, that was being considered, but we weren't really sure how much we were being considered. So is you know from March 9th up to last week, it's been sort of a, an, a quite a roller coaster ride of emotions for us. Um, for me, Nada, the girls, it's, it's, it has been crazy. Um, but it's been a good thing. It's been a really good thing, obviously. Uh, Saturday, we woke up. Um, I had to go on a bike ride. In the middle of the bike ride, of course, I got lost. So I, had pu I pulled out my iPhone to find out where I was, and I realized I'd gotten a text from Nada. And she said, hey, 
we got an email from the birth mom. She wants to meet us on Sunday, which was this past Sunday, April 7th. She wants to meet us at 10 a.m. at a park down in Central Florida and just meet. So I got home from my bike ride around 12.30 and booked flights and, you know, here all of a sudden we're flying and we're down in Central Florida by 7 o'clock. Sleep, slept over, got up, spent the day with her, had an awesome day, just getting to connecting, getting to know her. Um, my friends from Winston-Salem, her, uh, their cousin actually kind of connected with us and we hung out with her, with the birth mother, and that was really cool. And now our friend's cousin is officially like the birthing coach for the birth mother. So God has really orchestrated this thing. Um, and again, it was just us making it public that we were adopting and we want to adopt a baby boy. And if you want to read more about that story, you can go to circleadoption.com and, um, or email me, al at jasonupton.com, and I'd be glad to tell you more about the story. Um, so, uh, we left that meeting on Sunday feeling really good, and she had let us know that you know she had to make a decision between a couple families, and she would let us know. Monday, Nada called me around 2 o'clock, and the birth mother had called Nada and asked her. She said, uh, Nada, I have one question for you. Would you and Al like to be the, the parents of my baby boy? And Nada was like, yes, started crying, and she called me, and I started crying, and that's when I tweeted she picked us. I, I tweeted it, Instagrammed it. I think I probably shouted it from, shouted it from the rooftop, so I was pretty excited. Um, and so were my kids, and so was Nada. It's just, it's been over three years that we've been waiting, and, uh, and it's been a long journey. So uh, that was Monday, April 8th, and we are now now have an attorney that we are uh, in Florida that we'll be working with. It's an awesome agency that was referred to us by some friends of mine uh, from Journey Church, and uh, we're just stoked to be working um, working with this with this, this attorney. And uh, we're getting the ball rolling. The baby is due July sixth, which happens to be uh, my anniversary with Nada, so that's awesome. And there's a ton of other coincidences that uh, I am working on a blog. And we'll write more of the details in there. Uh, but for this video, I think that's what I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to give you guys an update um, that we are going to be the proud parents of a baby boy come July 6th. There's a lot of preparation, um, not only with the legalities and all that stuff, but you know, if you're not able to give financially, that's totally cool. I would love for you to pray for us because we have a lot of relationship building to do with this birth mother. Um, and, and we want to build a relationship with her. It's going to be an, an open adoption. She doesn't really want to have a tight connection with this, but she'd like to have photos, you know, like once or twice a year. And um, Nada and I both just see incredible, incredible potential in this in this gal. She's 23. Um, she's really, really got a go-getter kind of personality. She's very organized. And um, I just, that meeting that I had with her, both Nada and I really saw Jesus in her. And we just see that this birth, the birth of this child not only is going to give us a son, but it's also, I just see that it's going to, it's going to start a whole new life for this, for this gal. And we're, we're super excited just to build a relationship with her. And we're going to be making trips once a month down to Central Florida with the family just to hang out with her, get to know her, and just, just, just build relationships. So if you, if you would pray for, for us, um, and pray for the birth mother and pray for that relationship and pray for the success of this adoption because at any moment she could change her mind. We're hoping, we, we, of course, we don't want her to and I don't think she's going to. But the more relationship we have, um, the more we can just, yeah, the more we build trust. And so um, we would just appreciate your prayers. And if, again, if you want more information about how to give or just to read a little bit more about our story, you can go to circleadoption.com. Also, we have a blog, which is circleadoption.wordpress.com, and I'll start writing again on that soon. So thanks again for everything. We love you guys, and uh, email me or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram if, if you have questions or any kind of encouragement. Thanks a bunch.